All right, guys. Another fury coming at you. And, uh, real quick, I've tossed him in at the end of a, a few of my power level sessions here just because, you know, I got him Wednesday night, Thursday morning. Like 24 hours after Starscream, I had enough coins that I picked up like four or five premiums. And the last one gave me that three star Nemesis Prime. I actually wasn't recording, so. There might be many of you that don't know that I have him. But yeah, I got three star Nemesis Prime. That that leaves four three stars left in the game for me until the Terracon comes out. And only Viper was the only one that I could get until just uh, yesterday when they added Octopunchy. But I babble. Here he is. He's level 20 now. Three star Nemesis Prime. I'm going to put him in and pop his 30 cap. And, uh, I've got him at uh, ability rank uh, 4 for power of darkness. It makes uh, his target invulnerable to stun effects and damage for 9.2 seconds. He's very handy to pair with a tank. Somebody like Razor Claw can tear things up with when he shields him. It's great. He's uh, 273 power, 58 DPS, 1850 health. He's got 1.9 speed. He's medium range. And here we go. I'm going to put him in and pop his 30 cap. And, and that way my lab's doing something for five hours. Five hours. Real fast. I've been using my A-team, I've got it all jacked up because I'm throwing people in and out to, for uh, level capping. But I wanted to show you guys, this is my B-team currently. Now, now I'm debating on whether or not I should take somebody out for Nemesis Prime at some point. But for my air, I'm using a slipstream with dive bomb. That combo is insane. And my tanks are Razor Claw and Galatron. That's why the bus has changed. I had to. Megatron and Galatron are not a good tank combo. So Galatron's leading the B team. And then three star Shockwave is the B team's healer. I guess the Galatron and Razor Claw are the healers. Dive bomb and slipstream are my air. And then my gunners are three star swindle and onslaught. My four star or my A team is Megatron tanking with headstrong. Those, those two are three stars. And then uh, until Star Scream is ready, four star Cyclonus is one of the air, and then four star Skywalk is the other one. Now, I'm going to drop Cyclonus for 4-star star Starscream when he's ready. And then the Gunners on that team are 4-star Mixmaster and 4-star Breakdown, I think. It was the only Stunicon that was in the game, the one that, that EMP stuff. I think it's Breakdown, I can't remember now. My brain's so frazzled from the stress of... This this weekend, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I will replace the four star breakdown if I ever get a four star onslaught and swindle on my 18. And then of course four star shockwave is their healer. So that's that's my 18 since I can't actually show you guys at the moment. And this is my C team. I got Tantum tanking with Bone Crusher as sort of the tank DPS. Actually, no, I would say Nala is probably the, the uh, tank too. Bone Crusher is just a melee DPS. Him and Mixmaster are my gunners. I don't have a healer, but I got Scavenger. And then 3 star Stark Scream and 3 star Cyclonus are my air. 
but I re will replace three star Cyclonus with four when four star Starstream goes into the A team. And then that three star Cyclonus will probably move here to my D team. Maybe. And replace the blast off. Here's my D team. They got Nightbird and Off Road tanking. Long Haul and Brawl as the gunners. Three star Hook healing. Three star Skywalk and blast off as my air. And then team five, I was using the level, which is I should have still done and kept my A team set on team one. But I remember who it is. Anyways, yeah, I was just using this fifth team slot to as a leveling uh, team slot. I'm just I'd rotate people in and out of it. And I'm less than 2,000 points from unlocking my sixth slot, which I'm sure I'm going to do since my goal is to get my A and B teams. First is to get my A team all the way to 40 and then to get my, my B team to 40. Although since I don't have the coins to, to coin their cooldowns, I've actually been leveling my A and B team all at once, uh, depending on who's on cooldown. I'm trying to use Mix Master and uh, uh, I'm trying to use my 4 star Mix Master even though he's leveling as well. And then my 3 star Scourge as like to take out bases and then I try to use two sometimes three people and then I'll have backup to fill out the team in case it all goes to crap but so I still get a win but uh, I try to use two to three people and I drop them in you know before, right before the base is going down or if, if the base is almost destroyed and they can go in and help without dying and I send them in and, and they get the XP so and that's and my, my three star scourge has actually hit 40 now but i need him for this weekend i'd probably already have him popping his 50 cap but i need him i need his help to help power level uh so there you guys go there's a there's an overview on uh three star nemesis prime stats at 20 and i just put him in for his 30 cap pop and i just showed you guys my team's lineup uh for my bc and d teams and told you my A teams lineup since um, switching everybody around on my A teams uh, at the moment, just because I'm using that instead of my fifth team slot, um, you know, while I'm power leveling right now. Should have just kept the first team slot set with my A team and used that fifth slot for what I had been, but I basically woke up today or this morning like. Almost three hours after the event started, I woke up and hit the alarm in my sleep. I have an alarm that goes off when the events start and an hour before events end. So in case I've fallen asleep, I can try to put up some last minute points in that last hour of an event. But yeah, and I've been going at it ever since. Uh, I'm waiting on, I could knock stuff out right now but I'm I'm kind of waiting on the fuel to hit 50 and then I'm going to start a live stream uh, yeah basically on here knocking shit out until uh, I'm out of fuel and then I use the break while I'm waiting on fuel to get things done and try to get these little vids up down here today uh, edited uploaded and published for you guys to see now uh I gotta go do that here real quick because we're, we're almost full on fuel and I'll have to get back to work. I'm gonna be at this all weekend. I'm hoping my sister's gonna help me. So that's one. Uh, I'm hoping I can get more. She's gonna get me a Google code so I can get me a this Mega Tactician's bundle for the cyber coins and the fuel. Because I have to get my A and B teams to level 40 so I can help out in these Cybertronian leagues. Because if I don't, I'll have to drop down to the Russian Brothers 2 because I'm a liability in the Cybertronian league. But if I can get my guys to 40, I'll be able to at least take down one or two bases. If nothing else with Devastator every day. And, uh, you know, at least help a little. So, But right now I can't really help because... All my Decepticons are level 30, 
because I was always trying to put points on the board for cyber cushions instead of power level on my cons every weekend. But they're all in the 30s and this triple XP weekend and me actually doing powerful techniques, I should make my goal. But I'm wanting to get as many as these as I can to ensure so. I've got one for sure. My sister's gonna help me get, thankfully. But, uh, yeah, anybody wants to donate me $20 Google Play code to me, get a hold of me. Because I need as many of these as I can get. So I can just keep. It also will help the live streams, because I usually end the live streams if I'm out of fuel, because I don't like just sitting there uh, doing nothing. I mean, I, I can babble all day long, but I'm sure people want to see more, see me doing stuff, instead of just sitting there idle, because I can't do anything without fuel. Remember, friends, stay classy, be good to one another, stay sub if you are, if you're not, please subscribe if you enjoyed this, hit the like button, tell your friends and have them do the same. Lunar Fury over and out, and you've been busted.